Lane five. The lady who won six gold medals in the World Championships in Lyon in 2013. Reigning Paralympic Games champion over four, eight and 1500 metres, Tatiana McFadden. Lane six for China, first major championship, but she still won her semi-final in 16.42. It's Li Yingji. Lane seven, the 2014 European champion in Swansea. For Finland, Amanya Kataya, the reigning world champion over 200 metres. And in lane eight, Hannah McFadden, bronze in the one and the two in the world championships in Doha. Seven in the 400. It's Hannah McFadden. Tatiana McFadden has won 15 global titles in her career. Three at the Paralympic Games in London. 12 world titles. Didn't compete in Doha, but did win the marathon world title last year. The defending champion is Liu Wenjun in lane four. Babalola one, Vandenbroek two, Madsen three, Lou McFadden, Lee, Kataya McFadden, and they are underway, and it's a good start by Lou, and McFadden actually, McFadden sliding back a bit, Lou going brilliantly in lane four, moving up also is Lee, it's Tatiana McFadden moving up, trying to get into the medals, but it is Lou Wenjun who's going to win this, Tatiana McFadden is in second place, in third is Lee, it's 16 seconds dead unofficial, and Lou Wenjun defends a title successfully for China, Tatiana McFadden in second, Lee in third. 16 seconds the winning time, and it's an equal season's best. McFadden gets the silver, 13 hundredths of a second behind, and Lee in third, a further nine hundredths back. Liu just too quick off the line, and it made it a China 1-3, and a very slow start. She was back in about fifth position, uh, Tatiana McFadden. Now she gets it going, manages to split the Chinese competitors at the line to pick up the silver, but Liu Wenjun, too good. Uh, 16 flat. Tatiana McFadden, 16 1 3, and Li Yangji, 16 2 2. A personal best for the bronze medalist. McFadden really came from a long way back, gave the meters. But look at that wheel of the American emerging now. Just simply ran out of meters. Liu Wenjun really won it at the start. Yeah, very bad start by Tatiana McFadden, and she set the world record this year in Indianapolis of 15.35. So again, a brilliant field, again expected to be fast. McFadden, the defending champion. Liu, the 100 champion. And lots more besides. Vandenbroek, Hannah McFadden, Zhu, Madsen, Liu, Tatiana McFadden, Cher, Ma. Away we go. The final of the women's 400 meters. T54. To Janet McFadden away well. I think Lou Wenjun off that little bit faster alongside her. That was certainly the case in the 100 meters final when Lou got off faster than Tatiana McFadden, but now with the longer distance, she's really well in her stride. It's Tatiana McFadden in six. It's Lou Wenjun in five. Ma Jing's going quite well in eight. But it's McFadden and Lou who performed the best, and now McFadden pushes away. It's a good, clear daylight between her and the rest as she turns for home to Jana McFadden, who won this in 2012 in London. Here she goes again, going for the double in Rio. It's Tatiana McFadden who's going to win this. Sherry Madsen in second place, Lou in third, and Tatiana McFadden gets her first gold in Rio, 53-30. And Sherry Madsen gets the silver, her first Paralympic medal since 2000. But Tatiana McFadden, well, she's on the hunt for six golds now. And that's the first of them. A great push from Tatiana McFadden. Doesn't quite have the speed off the line of some of the others, but she's got serious endurance. She can just keep pumping those wheels. Along the back straight, she did some furious work. I certainly think Lou is a better starter generally than McFadden from the two finals that we've witnessed in which they've been back to back. But I mean, McFadden in that second section will say between 100 to 300. It's pretty much where she won it, Steve. She just wheeled away. Yeah, and won it by three, four lengths. 
wasn't going to let this one slip. Needed that first goal, gets it. And it's a USA 1-2, China third. And, you know, the, the McFadden story, very moving, you know, from, a, from an orphanage in St. Petersburg, Russia, to representing the USA, and so decorated now. And uh, Tatiana McFadden, all smiles once the hard work had been done. She really wanted this one. Couldn't go under 52 seconds to get near her own world record. That doesn't matter. 53.30 is fine because it means gold. And Sherry Madsen of the United States second in 54.50. And Zhu Li Hong, a personal best of 54.70 in picking up the bronze medal. Yeah, it's a terrific story. Uh, also for Sherry Madsen, by the way, she left the sport for 12 years. She had been the first Native American to win a wheelchair medal. Uh, it was Zhao in third, Lou in fourth, by the way. And there's Hannah McFadden, whose background is similar to her sisters. Tatiana with the goal. Tatiana McFadden, 53.30. Sherry Madsen, the silver, 54.50. Zhao in third. Here is Tatiana McFadden, 400 meter winner here in Rio, second in the 100, looking for her fifth gold medal at Paralympic level and her 13th medal in total. 100 meters T54 final and they're ready. A couple of cracking 1500 meter races ahead of us and away they go and Chai from the inside began quite quickly with Di Rosario and now there's pace from out wide. Here's McFadden coming over and also Ma Jing is going to stake an early claim and the Brazilians also up there in the early stages and that is a lean rocker. But already it is an early lead established by the American and this is McFadden out clear by a good 15 metres or so from Ma Jing in second place coming into the home straight. Yes, McFadden with a terrific lead at the moment some 25 meters from the chinese athlete in second place and there's some early moves moving up here mcgrory goes up into second position and uh, out even wider on the track we've got the australian which is d rosario settling in about seventh yeah mcfadden opened up a really really strong lead but mcgrory coming up with a mcclamor also in the field for the united states Looks like a US 1-2-3 at the moment. They're all up there. McFadden, McGrory and McLamour in fourth place for China. It's Ma Jing, sixth of the 400 metres final. De Rosario, the world 800 metres champion. That magnificent victory for her in Doha. Tucked down in the middle of the field at the moment with a fellow Australian, Chrissy Dawes. A US 1-2-3. They've dominated this. They're looking to break the rest of the field. That incredible acceleration from Tatiana McFadden early on. But she leads here with two laps to go. US 103 and China in fourth. So it's McFadden in front of McRory. McClammer is in third place. And then Marging in fourth. And they're in single file as they head towards the back section. The two Australians trying to help each other towards the end of the field. The Brazilian is second last at the moment, Di Rosario. And at the tail of the field is Wollongren, who did finish off quite well in her semi-final. But at this stage, McFadden leads from McGrory in her slipstream. Then McClammer in third place, Margin in fourth position. And no change in the order at this stage. No one really seizing any initiative, trying to sneak up along the inside. In next position is the Australian. In doors, Di Rosario, the young 22-year-old at her third Paralympics out wider. But no change as far as the top three are concerned with a lap to go. It's McFadden from McRory and McLamour. McFadden, McRory, McLamour, the one, two, three inside the final lap. And now they're beginning to go for it. Manuel Shah, great racer, moving up strong to try and break up the American dominance at the moment. It's good break by her on the outside. Fifth place for the Chinese, Ma Jing. 
McFadden defending a line very well. McGroy and McClammer. McClammer trying to work on the outside. Tatiana McFadden already with a gold and a silver here so far. Leading them out. It could still be an American 1-2-3. To Jenna McFadden leading them through, and I think it will be. It'll be an all American race here. It's to Jenna McFadden, McGrory, McClammer, and that's how they're going to do it. It's a US clean sweep, 322 50. And that's the way to do it. And to Jenna McFadden, magnificent win to get her second gold medal of these Paralympic Games, third overall. Paralympic record 322.50 to beat McGrory's record from the semi final. Really tight in the end, but well, the Americans could not have worked that any better than they actually did. And Tatiana McFadden, well, she really broke the field very well, but that might have been designed to get the other uh, Americans up here. Lifetime best for McClammer in third, McGrory in second. And in the end, there was nobody else who was going to be able to deny them. And that includes Manuela Shah in fourth place, 322.50. Well, what brilliant tactics from Tatiana McFadden. Went straight to the front when nobody else wanted to, broke them up. And then as they concertinaed back in, she was able just to set quite a steady tempo and held off her compatriots in McRory and McClammer. So it was McFadden with the gold medal, and you could say, I suppose, it was a McTrifecta. <laughs> but Love it was that. a Paralympic record for Tatiana McFadden, personal best for McClammer. The Rosario with an Australasian record of 324.33, season's best for Diane Roy, an Asian record for Ma Jing, and then personal best for Dawes, Rocker and Wallingen. So in the end, it was just high caliber stuff. Yeah, and Shah was moving up there and Shah in the end wasn't able to affect the Americans. And it was almost the case. I mean, nobody was going to keep up with Tatiana McFadden, not even her colleagues there. They were trying to tighten up. Not sure they dare even try and have a go. I mean, that was great teamwork. It was McFadden, the ringleader here. Really did break the rest of the field effectively. And look at that. Number two, little look around, job done. You'll see a few mots there, by the way, in the replay around to Janet McFadden. It's just a few thousand have decided to send on the stadium now, but don't worry, it's... Twelve and a half laps of the track, and Diane Roy crossed the line first in 2008, but they had to do a rerun. There was a massive crash in that. We're underway. Shah, Roy, De Rosaria, McFadden, Marching. McClammer, Zhu, McGrory, Fonseca, and Wallengren. That's the lineup for this women's 5,000 meters final. Three from the United States. China well represented with two on the board and looking to make a little push on straight away. At the back, Manuela Shah is leading for Switzerland in uh, winning medals and major championships since 2004. Madison de Rosario. Right back alongside her first major championship medal actually coming in Beijing in 2008 when she was only 14 years old. Based in Sydney, uh, coach Louise Sauvage and it's the Rosario in front now, Shah alongside. You just look at a little bit of movement up there as well with Diane Roy in third place. Big cheers for Maria Fonseca Chavez in fourth. A little bit of movement from the uh, Americans beginning to start as well. They have three in this. They got all three medals. Gold for McFadden, Silver McGrory, and Bronze McLaren in the 1,500 meters final. Expect a lot of cat and mouse early on, although McFadden in the semi-final did look to break the field and she did very quickly McClammer has made the move on the outside McCrory's behind her and McFadden's behind her that's interesting 11 laps to go so McClammer who was the silver medalist in the 400 meters joined by McRory on the outside as they leave the straight Shire de Rosario behind them then Roy on the outside of Fonseca Chavez now here goes McFadden McFadden's going to try and catch her country women napping here and she has done so down the back so going to the lead is McFadden McFadden 
kicks clear as she likes to do. Out in front from in second place, McClammer. And then McRory's USA 1, 2, 3. Shire 4, De Rosario 5. And then next in the field is Roy from Canada. Then the two Chinese, and currently it is Zhu leading Ma in that department. Ma with the light blue helmet on the outside of Fonseca Chavez. And last of the group is Wollongren, the Swede, at her third Paralympic Games. So as they come past the line, and now driving up on the inside, McClammer has a little look to her left, and sees McFadden and says, I'll do some heavy lifting for now. McRory third the inner. Then in fourth position as they head to the back is Shire from Switzerland. Expect her to be there, hanging tough for a long time. The 22-year-old Di Rosario is behind her. Then it's Roy, and next in the field for China is Zhu. Fonseca Chavez just trying to sneak round on the inside, and Wallengren is at the tail. So as they come up towards the bend again, 55.08 was the previous lap, and it's McClammer leading McGrory, and McFadden's going to have a little bit of a rest at the moment in their slipstream in third. Doesn't want to get pocketed, though. Shire moves up around it, so McFadden's just going to tuck in, and Di Rosario is one out and one back, getting a nice trail, but the cat and mouse tactics continue with nine laps to go. Very interesting that you saw Tatiana McFadden placed in third there of the America 1-2-3 and just shouting out the instructions. That's the teamwork. She's the captain. She led them home to get all the medals, but now... Big movement, McClammer and McGrory going away, and Shah is going with them, and McFadden on the outside, and that's the big break, and the Rosario's trying to mark them, trying to bridge the gap, up into fifth place. And we've got a breakaway group of five, three for the United States, one Switzerland, one Australia, and really if the rest of the field, the other seven, want to prevent a clean sweep, they themselves are going to have to work as a team. But well, there's McFadden using her know-how, using her gusto. She's a brilliant technician, a fantastic racing mind. USA 1, 2, 3. McFadden, McGrory, McClammer. McGrory's got the orange helmet. McClammer, the little dark streak, the dark red, round the middle if you want to tell them apart. And McFadden, well, the best way to tell her apart is she's at the front, but she's got a more plain helmet. Sharon Ford, Rosario 5. Chinese in 6 and 7. Ma Ching. And Zhu Yi Hong, Zhu bronze in the four, and now really trying to slow things up on the outside. That's McGrory with the orange helmet. McFadden working things well also. You know this is the main tactic. USA gunning for the hat trick again if they can. To Rosario doing some work on the outside. Oh, and look at this on the inside. Well, that can surely only be one person. To Jana McFadden racing off again to the front. McGrory on the outside, McClammer on the inside, USA, one, two, three, seven laps to go. Extraordinary tactics, really slowing it off. That'll be one of the slowest laps of the race, 60.02. And McFadden not able to really sprint away from the field. At this stage, only leading by a length to McRory McClammer. Then Shire in fourth place. De Rosario, one off the line in next position. And then it is further back, Zhu from Ma. And they slow it off at the same part of the track again. Roy next, and Fonseca Chavez is able to tack onto the group. And detached is Wollongren, the Swede. So as they come towards the home corner, the Americans really dictating as a group here. As now McClammer moves up again to do some heavy lifting from McRory. McClammer just tries to steal a march over McRory up the straight. Shire is watching this all unfold. Four back the inside, De Rosario. And then it's McFadden, one off the inside, tracked by the veteran Roy. Then the two Chinese along the inside is Yu from Ma. And then at the end of the field, Wollongren. So into the back. That previous lap, 59.67, so just speeding up a shade. Chelsea McClammer goes into the back, second in the women's 400 here, third in the 1500, and was the bronze medalist in this race in Doha in the 5,000 metres. McRory now takes it up as they come off the back section. McRory with a personal best of 11.05.14, but they're chopping and changing. 
as McClabber goes back to the lead. Now, what's McFadden doing whilst all this is happening? She's having a rest at the back. She's only got four behind her at the moment and caught up in traffic, interestingly. It's McClammer in front of Shia Di Rosario, the one, two, three, and they get a gap of about 15 metres in front. With McFadden at the moment up there in fifth position, but just has a bit of work to do to rally up towards this leading trio. But at this stage, it's led by McClammer as they head to the back. Yeah, McClammer still out in front, Shia Di Rosario, they're the three away. It was interesting seeing. Tatiana McFadden just tootling along at the back. She's not doing that anymore. Shooting up into fourth place, and she's bringing McGrory with it. She'll bridge the gap. She's really spread them out. She's trying to destroy the rest of the field, but it's all ten pretty much in a row in a slipstream. Wallengren of Sweden at the back, and the Brazilian Fonseca Chavez there too has done very well to reach the final. USA, Switzerland, Australia... USA, USA, McClamo, Shard, Rosario, McFadden, McGrory. Next up, the Chinese marching. China six and seven at the moment. 55, 46, that lap, four laps to go. McClamo is doing a lot of the arm work at the moment over the front. Now, Shard sees a little look on the inside. Maybe the temptation was there, but there's still. 1,500 metres to go in this 5,000 final. So Shah's not going to go straight away. Look where McFadden is. Just right behind that group of three that Shah and Rosario are tucked in with. And they've all been here before, you know. Shah has been a marathon world champion. De Rosario, the 800 champion, that great victory in Doha. Americans have all got big honours as well. McGroy, the former world and Paralympic champion. McClammer with the Pan Am titles and the four and the eight. Shah, well out in front at the moment, but not for long, the Americans ganging up. McFadden's now in second place with three to go. Shah McFadden and McRory on the outside of McClamity. Rosario is next, four back along the inside in about fifth position. Then the first of the Chinese, which is Zhu. Ma tracking her, Roy on the inside, then Fonseca Chavez. So down the back, Shire leads. From McFadden second, McRory third. And you can see McClammer with the black helmet on the inside. USA second, third, and fourth. Previous lap 56.86. So Shire really did try and steal a march here over the Americans. Hasn't really worked though because McFadden has stuck on. McRory third on the outside. Then McClammer. And next in the field is Zhu from China. Mar on her back. De Rosario the inside. And then well back is Roy on the inner of Fonseca Chavez, and then a gap to Wallengren. So they come down the straight with two laps to go. Shire can't get away from McFadden. McRory on the back of McFadden, the place to be. McClammer next the inside. Di Rosario needs to see some daylight. Covering her at the moment is the Chinese athlete in Zhu. Mars getting a perfect sit on the back of her as there's movement now by McFadden as they continue their journey down the back where the leader is Shire. McFadden's trying to surge away from her at this point and they are going stride for stride. McClammer's worked into it really well. Stamina sapping stuff here and then Di Rosario on the inside of McRory and then the two Chinese. But McFadden has gone to the front narrowly, but Shire is giving her a terrific race on the inside. She's being extremely courageous. And on the outside is McClammer, moving up now into silver medal contention with a lap to go. Look at this at the bell. It's McFadden leading them out. McClammer behind. McGrory going two on the outside. And Shire looks spent. She's in fourth place. The Rosario is trying to go with them in fourth. No, it's the Rosario up in fourth place. USA, one, two, three. That's what the rest of the field up Absolutely fed. It's McFadden leading. It's McClummer in second place. McGrory third. De Rosario staying up with them in fourth place. And Char in fifth. This is where the goal is going to be decided in the next 200. De Rosario is the only one who looks like it can deny a clean sweep. And she's trying to do it on the outside. It's Georgiana McFadden leading them out. Now they're spreading out. And it's McFadden in the lead. In second place, it's McClummer. It's McGrory in third. De Rosario on the outside. Can she pull it off? It's McFadden, McClammer, McGrory. It's the Mark Hapchuk again. 
to Rosario on the outside in fourth place. And the Chinese come through in fifth and sixth. Zhu Li Hong and Mao Zheng, but they've done it again. They worked it brilliantly. De Rosario knew what was coming and couldn't prevent it. And the United States have done it again. Wallengren coming home. Right at the back. But everybody knew what they wanted to do. And the United States have gone and done it again. Tatiana McFadden leads home the American 1-2-3. McClammer gets the silver, McGrory the bronze, and it's a reverse of the second and third from the 1500 metres, and the team captain, that's what she is in this, has worked it brilliantly. Great shot by our cameraman there, you can see, looking up at the big screen, just to see where she was, that was very early on in the race. So a gold medalist in the 400, the 1500, the 5000, silver medalist in the 100 metres, still with a relay to come, and an 800 and a marathon to come. Just didn't have the ping tonight at the end of 5000 metres, she had to tough it out. And McClammer and McRory working with her for another trifecta. Di Rosario, didn't she look at danger with 400 metres to go? She was really working into it and played it tactically so well, but Unable to be denied, beaten by three outstanding athletes. And it's a real haul, isn't it? 14 Paralympic medals now for McFadden. Fifth Paralympic gold turns into a sixth. Yeah, 11.54.07. And De Rosario almost made it, you know. She read it very, very well. Char just got caught out in the end and she fell back a bit. I think she must have been about eighth in the end. But McFadden gets her third gold of the games. It's her fourth medal, and she's the grand orchestrator. Yet again, she's brought McClamour and McGrory through to her. It's teamwork all the way. There's not much more you can say about this. They've worked it brilliantly once more for the second major final in a row. Here is the podium, and it's USA, one, two, three. Now just take a look at the Rosario on the outside. McFadden's got enough of a margin. She's not going to be taken out by her teammates. McClammer second, McGrory third. But the Rosario so close. She knew what was coming. They all knew what was coming. And the Australian was the one who was in the best position to try and deny that. But it was a pure tactical masterclass. Here's Tatiana McFadden. Gold so far in the four, the 15, and the five. Silver in the one, the six-time world champion from Lyon. She won three golds in London, and she's done the same here. Tatiana McFadden aiming for a four. From the Netherlands, eighth in the 100 metres. Bronze in the four and the eight at the World Championships last year. It's Margaret Vandenbroek on the inside in lane one for Canada. The former Commonwealth Games 1500 metres champion. Six of the 1500 metres final here, and the former marathon world champion, it's Diane Roy. Shah in six for Switzerland, but McFadden the one they all have to beat. Well, McFadden leading home, an American clean sweep in the 1500 metres and the five. Can't do that here, but she does have Amanda McGrory for company. China are the ones with the best chance of the teamwork. They're all in red. Li Wenjun on the uh, outside, Li Ying Li moving in. Zhu Li Hong as well. Manuela Shah is the other one in red. But who's that out in front straight away? Don't need to tell you. It's Tatiana McFadden who's shooting away. China's three trying to gang up on it. On the inside for Switzerland is Manuela Shah. There's going to be a lot of close marking here on McFadden. Where McGrory ends up at the moment, she's very much on her own for the United States. But she's still not in a bad position, currently in fifth place. It's Tichana McFadden, little look over the big screen just to see where everyone else is. Then the rest of the Chinese behind, that's Su Li Hong, who's in third place, and in second it's Su as they hit the bell. So it's USA, China, China, Switzerland, China, and the United States in sixth place. But currently in second, it's Lu Wenzhen, and in third, Zhu Li Hong, Sharon four, McFadden leading them out, just as you knew she would do, looking to win from gun to tape. 
and she's not doing a bad job. Just look at the way they're trying to make a maneuver up behind her. Manuela Shah trying to move up on the far side. All those red around, but it's the Swiss red of Shah who's trying to do it the hardest over on there, lane two, but it's still McFadden leading them out. Lu and Zhu up there behind her. It's the final bend. It's to Gianna McFadden for the United States. Three gold medals in London, aiming for a fourth here, and she's going to do it surely now. They won't catch him. McGrory's trying to get up into third place, but Tatiana McFadden wins her fourth gold medal in Rio. Looks like it was Lou in second place, and McGrory might just have sneaked a photo in third for the United States. The Paralympic record is gone, 144.73. Gold in the four, the 15, the five, and now the 800 meters for Tatiana McFadden. She's largely been unbeatable in this competition, apart from the 100 meters. And it is China, silver and bronze. Lu with the silver, Lee with the bronze, and McGrory missed out by a hundredth of a second despite a lifetime best. Paralympic record McFadden, Asian record for Lou, Lee in third, PB, McGrory, PB in fourth, and Shah thought she might have had a better finish in her, but not quite. She was in fifth place. McGrory there, working hard to get on the outside. Everybody working hard to turn over McFadden. They tried, they failed again. Yes, uh, China throwing everything they possibly could, throwing everything bar the kitchen sink at uh, McFadden to uh, try and topple her, but they couldn't. And it's been a long campaign for McFadden, but hasn't it been an extraordinary ride for her? And it's not over because she will contest the T54 Women's Marathon tomorrow that starts at around half past 12 Rio time against 13 others. So so durable as well but so brilliant and there is team china not this time they came left right and center hasn't mcgrory performed so well at these rio games as well but one more time let's ride with tatiana mcfadden well mcgrory an excellent athlete in her own right but she couldn't have the same help from mcfadden this time and china put their entire team on her but mcfadden is a very effective team of what it's a fourth Paralympic gold here. Not quite a clean sweep, disqualified from the 4x4, and there was silver in the one. And she goes in the marathon tomorrow in her bid for a fifth gold medal. It's really impressive. A seventh Paralympic gold of her career.